let's talk about some creative ways to play the double paradiddle. The double paradiddle is four singles followed by a double, either right, left, right, left, right, right, or the opposite, left, right, left, right, left, left. Most often, the accent is placed on the first note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. But you don't have to play the accent on the first note. So what about playing the accent on the second note? Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Or the third note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Or the fourth note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Let's try stringing all those together. So we're going to do each variation four times, starting with the accent on the first note, and then we'll move to the second, third, and fourth. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. Repeat it. Right, left, right, left, right, right. Now shift to the second note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Third note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Fourth note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Once you've worked out how to play those four accent placements, I would suggest that you just improvise some phrases using those four options. Think of it in three, four, and just each time you repeat, try some different accents. So one and two and three and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and two and three and one 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 so on and so forth now since there's six notes in a double paradiddle it also fits evenly as triplets if you think of being two quarter notes length of triplets that fits perfectly triple it triple it triple it triple it triple it second note triple it triple it Third note, triple it, 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 triple Fourth note, triple it, triple it, triple triple it, triple it, triple it. Now try improvising with those four accent placements in the triplet subdivision. One, two, three, and triple it, triple it, triple it. So on and so forth. Now, let's create a phrase that combines two double paradiddles and then one single paradiddle. We use a 60 note subdivision, so one E and a, two E and, and a four E and a, and that'll repeat on the opposite hand. One E and a, two E, three E and a, four E and a. So one E and a, two E and a, three E, four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Now we're going to accent the first and third note of the double paradigm. One, two, three, and four and. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. All right. Now for the tricky part, displace those accents by one sixteenth note. So now we're going to start the accent on the second note. So it'll be second and fourth note of each double paradiddle and also the second note of that single paradiddle. So it'll be one E, a two E and a three E and a four E, the one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a two, three E and a four E and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. So now let's go first and third, four bars, and then second and fourth, four bars. One and two and three and a four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now displace it. One, two, three. Now, 
the key is to not change the sticking. It's always double paradiddle, double paradiddle, paradiddle. It's just the accents to get displaced. Now that's just one option. You can come up with a million variations by different accent combinations, accent placements, displacements. You can also move that single paradiddle maybe to the beginning of the measure or in, in the middle of the two double paradiddles. So there's a lot you can do with a double paradiddle to just find some more creative, interesting options that aren't just always accenting the start of the double paradiddle. Have fun with it, take your time, use a metronome. See you next time.